Hey guys, welcome back to the lesson. Okay, we will be starting our geometry today. Now, what is the best way to tackle this? There is multitude of ways. One way is to use curves, which is where you would draw out the outline, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but I think uh, for this series one, uh, we will use, let me just close this window here. There's a bird outside. It's driving me nuts. So we'll go into the side view. Let me just uh, turn off my grid here for a second. So we're going to go in and we're going to use our flattest part first. And the wheel arch here is a very good what starting point for any car. <coughs> because you will then have the geometry to extrude where you need to extrude and so on and so forth so if I can show you more I uh, took the liberty of finding some reference images you can find these online using the LD 2008 as you can see we have the the uh, wheel arch it's pretty much straight you can see it better on here and what I mean is if we start here we will then have the geometry to extrude, say from here to this point here. And then we can use this point geometry here to, ex to extrude here and so on. And then when we get roughly here, we can add an edge coming down here just to pull this out a bit so we can add geometry as we are going. And uh, the same with here. Um, when we come to actually manipulate the points on the wheel arch, we can have the, ge the geometry, I'm getting tongue tied, forgive me, to extrude out here. And this will be a separate piece, which will then be able to attach to our extruded geometry here. So what I'm trying to get at is always pick your best point of access. So if we wanted to model the the bumper to begin with, it's just one piece there, which is pretty much easy uh, standardly uh, for experienced modelers, um, which doesn't leave us much room to you know to manipulate what we want to manipulate whereas if we use our wheel arch here we can pretty much extrude what we want and cut what we want so more of the story is if you want to model a car start from the wheel arch that is my advice personally so what we're going to do is we're going to create a polygon primitive I'm just going to turn off my interactive creation here because I don't want to be able to do this. Uh, so pipe. I don't want to be able to manipulate my own. I want a bug standard polygon primitive. So I just turned that off and and it'll bring one down here and show the grid right in the center of the grid now we're just going to increase the radius so I'm going to click left click on the radius and middle click anywhere outside here and just drag out like so uh, so we need to rotate this this guy first so on the Z I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees like so. Oops, I don't want that. I want to do greens. And we're just going to move this guy over to here, roughly in the 
center of the uh, wheel here. So I'm just going to increase the size, increase the thickness. Let's give it like a uh, 4.5. Again, we're just going to manipulate this until we are happy with what we have got. Let's increase the radius. So let's bring the thickness down to about 4 and the radius down. Just really trying to roughly uh, get in between these lines here. So we're going to get as best as we can just to match up with the geometry. Now we will need to add some more um, geometry around here. Now we're going to play devil's advocate here because you don't want to go too low and you don't want to go too high poly we really want um, enough where if we manipulate one part of this um, everything else doesn't screw up so it's best to start off low poly and then add what you need later on so I'm just going to increase this by 4 I'm just going to do this now. Increase the radius just a little bit. It's really just taking your time just to really get in there and I just need to rotate this because I want some geometry here. I need a point here and a point here because we can extrude this edge across to match with this line if you know what I mean don't worry about the geometry down here right now um, because that would all get sorted and we now have a point down here where we can use to extrude out along this this line here so there's no need to rush just take your time fix your points locations and then if need be we can add geometry later oops so I'm just going to increase the radius just a, a hair okay I think uh, we'll spend it I'll probably spend all day doing this. <laughs> so we'll just leave it uh, as it is. And it's got some thickness on already. So what we're going to do, we are going to go into our perspective view. It's our piece and put some oh, our height. On this. going to frame up and I'm going to select the faces and select these guys here and we're just going to delete which will leave us with this piece here so it's going to bring it out I'm going to uh, reset transforms. Oh, that's not what I want. I want it to reset pivot point. Like so. So I'm going to go to the top. Um, I'm still learning back from the 
max. Okay, so it looks like we have roughly where we want it to be. We'll just be devil's advocate here and just place it there. Okay. So I'll go back down to uh, here and we'll select faces again and we're just going to select these select these faces here and delete delete and delete these two and we're going to vertex mode and we are just going to bring these across like so and I want to snap this to a curve. Hold down C, and we just want to come down there and snap across, just so it keeps its shape. I'm going to bring this across here. going to this is a flat edge I'm just going to hold down V and snap to this vertex here and I'm just going to bring this out like so oops and I'm just going to bring this down Keeping its its line there for the for the moment. And I could possibly at some point bring that up. So we're going to do the same uh, for here. I'm going to bring this across. Bring this guy down. Snap it to this part here, bring these guys up, and we're going to bring this across and snap this guy to this part here, bring this part up, and just repeat the same process. We want to make sure that it's straight on here. Now, with that done. If we take a look at the front view, you see that it actually starts to come in. So let's see here. Just want to find a nice view for the front. I suppose this one will do. Um, we're going to have to manipulate the points now to the point where we have to bring these points in just to follow the curvature of the real arch. Um, I wish I had a better picture for you to show you guys, but um, if we select, let's see, select these guys. Select. And select. And bring these in. And select these guys. Just zoom in on here and bring those guys in. Select those.
Now you don't have to be too perfect. Uh, specifically with the image that we have, it really isn't the best. But you can roughly make out what we need to do here. So just take your time and do the best that you can with what we have right now. So let's just check our 3D space here. I'm just going to turn off my um, image planes. And just check that shape. Okay, with that uh, looking okay, and I just want to check on the reference images on the back here. And on the front, so the the um, ray here does seem to be coming just a little bit. I really can't tell on here. Or here, but what we're going to do is uh, just set these vertices and frame up. I'm just going to bring them ever so slightly, just so it's not a straight shape. In. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to duplicate this. Oops. Okay, so Control D to duplicate. We're going to bring it across all the way over here, and we're going to scale negative one so we can flip it and we are going to match to here so we're just going to place this just so we Don't have to manipulate those points. Bring those up, bring them across, and we're going to have to scale this just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just going to have to manipulate these points. These across here and down to here. I have to bring you up just a bit. Okay, bring these guys up just a little bit. These. to bring this up in the Y and snap it to here. Okay, so we're going to go into the um, back. And with this, these guys here, we're going to bring just across to about there, select these guys, and I just want to bring this down so it can match up with the geometry there, 
I'm going to zoom. Just bring these down and across just so it fits well roughly with the curvature of the uh, car here. Just frame up. So we get a nice basic outline of the wheel arch and we are starting to see that we now have geometry in place where we can start extruding out and creating fresh geometry. So once you're happy with uh, the initial layout, uh, we try them. We're going to select these guys and these guys. I'm going to combine these, edit mesh, combine. So the one piece, and I'm just going to uh, delete. By type history, and I just want to reset our uh, pivot here, uh, center pivot. Okay, so it's one piece. So uh, we're coming up to a pretty long lesson here 20 minutes just by doing these and uh, me talking. So um, let's go back into review and um, we took our time and figuring out what geometry that we needed to do which we did we created these two wheel arches which gives us a really uh, nice space to connect geometry um, we may have to come in again and just modify some points around but so far, um, we have enough visual uh, geometry to make a few judgment calls in what we can extrude and what we can't and what cuts we need to do. So for example, we have geometry here where we can extrude out to make this panel here and so forth. And we'll go across here. And we have geometry here to make this panel here and this panel here. So I think in the next lesson, we shall go ahead and start to uh, create geometry on the side of the car. And we'll go through and uh, learn a few techniques and what needs to be cut and what does not. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.